Well, hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I am so excited that you guys are here with us. My name is Jacob, and with me I have my friend. My name's also Jacob, but you can just call me Jake. That's amazing, I'm glad he's here, glad you guys are here, and we are kicking off a new month, which means we have something new to talk about, and we're gonna be talking about creativity. Oh. Jake, could you tell them what we mean by creativity? I would love to. You see, creativity is imagining what you can do because you're made in God's image. Now, here's what I mean. Our God is super creative. Like, he's more creative than we could ever imagine. And he made you and me and Jacob to be creative as well. Isn't that awesome? That is pretty awesome. And you know what? I think I know the perfect way to kick off talking about this idea of creativity. I think we should start with our memory verse. Now we do a memory verse every week and we call it that because we want to memorize it. And I bet by the end of this month, you'll know this memory verse better than you know your favorite song. Ooh, I'm ready. I want to hear it. All right, you guys ready? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say it and do the motions, and you guys are going to repeat after me. You ready, Jake? I'm so ready. You guys ready? It goes like this. It says, Lord. Lord. You are great. You are great. You are really worthy of praise. You are really worthy of praise. No one. No one. Can completely understand. Can completely understand. How great you are. How great you are. Psalm 145, 3. Psalm 145, 3. Fantastic job, guys. Fantastic job, Jake. Thank you. Now, here's the deal. We're going to do it one more time. Oh, okay. We really want to know this first. So, one more time. Repeat after me. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Lord. Lord. You are great. You are great. You are really worthy of praise. You are really worthy of praise. No one. No one can completely understand can completely understand how great you are how great you are psalm 145 3 psalm 145 3 fantastic job guys fantastic job jake thank you for doing that with us that was so fun and you know what else is fun singing songs of worship so why don't we have our good friend cody come out and he's going to sing some songs for us and if you're watching this wherever you're at you can stand up sit down lay down you can sing loud you can sing soft whatever you want to do but join us in singing some songs of worship well welcome elementary and 56ers we're glad that you're still tuning in online with us i want to invite you to sing this out with me This is the day that you have made Whatever comes, I won't complain For all my hope is in your name And now your joy awaits my praise And I give thanks for all We 
Let's sing this out together. You are here. You are here. You're moving in our midst. And I worship you. And I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place. I worship you. And I worship you. You are here. You're moving in our midst. I worship you. And I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place and I worship you I worship you sing it out because you are way made miracle work promise keep light in the darkness my God that is who you are you are way made darkness, my God, but that is who you are. You are here, you're touching every heart, and I worship you, oh, I worship you. You are here, you're healing every heart, oh, I worship I worship you. You are here and you're turning lives around. Yes, I worship you. Oh, I worship you. Cause you are here and you're demanding every heart. Oh, I worship Work, 
you pray with me? God, we're thankful that you're the way maker, God, that you're the promise keeper, that you're the light amidst the darkness. God, may we just continue to lean into the way you're teaching us, God, what you have to tell us today, God, so that we might look more like your son, Jesus. God, we love you. Praise in Jesus' name, amen. Wow, that was so fun, worshiping with Cody. And Jacob, speaking of creativity, you have some creative dance moves, my friend. Well, you know, I've been practicing. And remember that creativity is knowing that we can imagine things because we're made in God's image. I mean, when we think about it, we know that God is creative. He made the universe, the earth, and everything in it. I mean, art is the creativity of God and nature. Jake, what's your favorite thing about nature? Ah, uh, let me tell you. I think back to a time I found myself atop a mountain in Austria and I gazed out on the horizon and I saw peaks and valleys and trees and rivers and all sorts of birds of the air and I'll tell you what Jacob it was quite majestic. That, what about you? What's your favorite part of creation? That sounds beautiful. My favorite thing is probably pizza. Cool. Hey we're gonna watch the so-and-so show and they're gonna talk about the first book in the Bible. Oh look what we have here. Genesis. It's the story of God's creation. And if you have a Bible, you can turn to page one and follow along with John Brandon and Kellen in the So and So Show. Hello, I'm John, and welcome back to The Joy of Sculpting, where we take beautiful things and make even more beautiful things out of them. Let's take this sculpture of my co host, Brandon. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So lifelike, his eyes, his hair. The detail really is marvelous. But what if we could make something new out of it? Let's see. Let's take a, a little bit of Brandon's hair off, like this. And we can just put that there. Oh, that's nice. Kind of squishy. And what do we have here? Oh, look. It's Brandon's little brain. Little brain. We'll put that right, right here, very carefully. And what if his ears can go here? There you go. Now let's take Brandon's happy eyes. And we can put those eyes, put them right here. Look at those wonderful eyes. <laughs> Looking right back at you. <laughs> what do these eyes seem? I don't know. Just put those mm, right there. Now, what can we make with what's left? I think I have an idea. What if we make an edge right there? Yeah, yeah, and an edge right here. Uh-huh, oh, that's nice. How about here? Oh, that's nice. Or how about here? Hey, I'm starting to see something. <laughs> there we go. Let's, do, let's just use the, the board for extra pressure. Isn't that beautiful? It's a brick. You could build a big, beautiful house out of this brick. That's how strong it is. Hey, John, have you seen my self-sculpture? I've been looking for it. How nice. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to The So and So Show. Well done, high yeah. five. Oh, that was close. I'll get it, I'll figure it out one day. Sure. So what is all this stuff that you have? Oh, oh I'm coming up with some uh, new super mutants for a new comic book I'm creating. Oh, well, that sounds fun. What? How do you come up with your new mutants? Well, I have a jar of heads. Okay. A jar of creature buddies. And a jar of superpowers. Oh, and you what? Do you just what? Draw them out? Sure, sure. I'll show you. I'll show you. Watch this. Um, oh, I got a horse head. <laughs> All right. And I'll just take this one. Uh, oh, T Rex body. Look at cool, that. Cool, cool. And a superpower is static electricity. Oh, static electricity. Yeah. yeah. Not everyone can leap over tall buildings on a single bound, Brandon. 
Oh, uh, well, that's true, I guess. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I think we'll call this guy Sir Neighborly the Spokosaurus Rex. I think I can make this more interesting. <gasps> Explain how! All right. Mutant Melee. What am I looking at? Hey, that's me! Uh, no, that's your avatar. <gasps> Except now you're... Sir Neighborly, the Sparkosaurus Rex. Superpower, static electricity. <laughs> Versus Panda King. Superpower, interpretive bamboo. Ready? Melee! <laughs> It's working! Static electricity! No! Ow. Ow! My turn. What are you doing? Music! Winner! Round two. All right, who am I gonna be this time? How about? Captain Fish Breath. Superpower, uh, Fish Breath. Versus Bat Boy. Superpower, can fly. As long as he doesn't realize he's in the air. What does he mean I can only fly unless I realize I'm in the air? Ready, melee. Ah! I'm flying! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Ow! This is a video game! I shouldn't be able to smell it! <laughs> oh, that's terrible! Winner! Oh, it still stinks. Uh, get these things off me. Yeah, that does stink. Ah. Great, I'm gonna have to do laundry. Oh, or maybe burn them. Wait, before you do that, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, everybody. What's up, Kellen? Not much. Say, what do you got there? Uh, laundry from our game of Mutant Melee. Cool. Do you mind if I use it for the story? Oh, sure thing. Thanks. Our story starts with the very first verse of the very first chapter of the very first book of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth didn't have any shape. There was darkness over the surface of the waves. The Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the darkness and called the light day and the darkness night. How's that for a beginning? And that was just day one. On the second day, God made the sky. God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. And that's exactly what happened. And God called the huge space sky. That was day two. But it was the next day when God's creativity really took root. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let the dry ground appear. God called the dry ground land. Then God said, let the land produce plants and trees and plants and flowers sprung out of the ground and God saw that it was good. That closes the book on day three, but God wasn't finished. He had a whole sky to fill. God said, let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. And so the stars were created. And then God made the moon to rule over the night. He made the sun to rule over the day, and God saw that it was good. Day four, boom, sun, moon, and stars. Without them, we wouldn't know what time of day it was. Think about that. 
Okay, stop thinking. Things are about to get wild. God said, let the seas be filled with living things. So God created every kind of living thing that fills the oceans. And God said, let birds fly above the earth across the huge space of the sky. And then God created every kind of bird that flies. And God saw that it was good. That was the fifth day. But it was the sixth day when God made his masterpiece. And I'm not talking about the platypus. God said, let the land produce every kind of animal, cows, horses, chickens, bugs, snakes, mice, phrenosasauruses, orangutans, platypi, and it was all good. And then God said, wait for it, let us make human beings. Watch out world, here we come. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them as male and female. And God told them to take care of the earth and all that was in it. This was day six. On the seventh day, God rested from all his work. But before he did that, he took a good look at everything he had created and he saw that it was very good. The end. That was incredible. It really is incredible when you think about all the things God created. I mean, whether it's a huge planet in space or a tiny little eyelash, like, oh, Ow. make a wish. No, you are so weird. What? Get that away from me. Yeah. There's really no limit to God's creativity. You can find it anywhere. I found it sitting right next to me. Aww. Thanks for the story, Kellen. You got it. See you guys next time. Later. See ya. What a great story. Yeah, Love I it. loved how my gym shorts turned into a orangutan. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I took from the story, too. <laughs> yeah. Reveal the question! Awesome. Where do you see God's creativity? Yeah, do you see it in a stream flowing through the woods? Or in a star that's over 100 miles away? Yeah, except stars are like millions of miles away, John. So, over 100, right? Right. Talk about it with each other. Where do you see God's creativity? And we will see you next time on The So-and-So -so -so Show. Show. It's right there. You can read it. It's in gold. <laughs>it is incredible to look around and know that God created everything from the highest mountaintop to the lowest valley he created all of it yeah and it's awesome but guess what God didn't just create you just to create you he created you because he wants a relationship with you that's why he sent Jesus see God wants this relationship, but we have this stuff called sin in our lives when we make mistakes that keep us separated from God. But Jesus came down, and guess how many times he sinned? Not once. And because of that, when he gave his life up for us on a cross, he could take the punishment of our sins, which basically means that we can have that relationship with God. But guess what? Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days later, he rose from the dead and he's back in heaven with God and we get to join him in there when we have faith and put our trust in him, which is the coolest. That is just so amazing. So here's what I want you guys to remember. There are no limits to God's creativity. You might look around and see something amazing and think it's just awesome and that is because God is so indescribable so think about where you've been where you lived and where you live now and here's the question I want you guys to think about this week where do you see God's creativity I mean think about it when you're driving and you see kind of a tall hill don't just see another hill see God created that or if you look out your window and you see a big tree or a few trees or flowers God created all of those things, knows them, and they are all under his creation, and it is awesome. So think about those things as you go throughout the world. 
And next time you take a look in the mirror, take an extra second and realize that God created you too, and he loves you, and that you are one of God's most priceless creations. Wow, what a fun week. I would love to wrap up our day by praying for us. Is that okay? I would love if you prayed for us. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for being so creative. We are so grateful that you let us be imaginative and you let us think of amazing things because we are made in your image. Thank you so much for sending your son Jesus for us. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray, amen. Amen. All right, well, we are so happy you guys are with us today, but we can't wait to see you next week. So invite a friend. See you guys.